So I've gotten some comments asking to kind of showcase some of the um, tools, the products that I use during my detail process. So I figured today what I'll do is I'll just go over some of the stuff I have. One of the things I want to talk about before I start showing my products um, is the ever popular brand whoring situation that occurs on YouTube. I don't believe that somebody should be all about one brand like uh, Meguiar's or you know Adams polishes or any of those companies um, yeah they all have great products but sometimes you get a much better result at a cheaper price uh, each product has its own little uh, spot in my arsenal I don't I'm, I hate people that are like oh this is this is the best company uh, join join my cult no forget your cult bro get out of here like this this is about unbiased opinions and reviews that's what the internet should be about it's not about selling oh look at this look at this you shouldn't just be like hooked on one company especially if you're getting paid to be hooked on one company because then when you're starting to talk about how great a product is i don't believe you for shit now here's my thing i don't get paid by anybody so if a product sucks that's on me i bought it out of my pocket Shut the f up. I bought my products with my money that I worked for. I don't get discounts. So with that being said, let's get into it. First little product that I want to discuss, it's going to be the realm of uh, foam products and uh, hose nozzles. That's another big one for me. Um, first thing I want to talk about is this monstrosity. This is a foam gun that goes on to the end of a hose, okay, obviously with an adapter for mine because I like quick connect systems. This was a Gilmore, I believe, and honestly, I like it. It's quick and easy. Again, like I said with the brand touring thing, I know Adams has one that's probably made a little bit better, but for the price, get the hell out of here with that crap, honestly. Um, I barely use that anymore now. Once in a while, in a pinch, I'll pull that bad boy out, but as far as... Uh, Using it goes, uh, I don't have much of a purpose for it now. What is that noise now? Seriously. So, this is the next thing. Obviously, everybody knows what these look like, if you know about detailing. These are to connect onto a lance of a pressure washer. This one is an Adams, but... I took all the labeling off. Why? It's not because I'm an asshole. It's because I'm not getting paid by them. I don't want to get paid by them. And I'm sick of people just throwing these goddamn stickers on everything. Get over it. I'm done. Um, this works fine. I got this in a mystery box, which is the only reason why I would have had this. Let's talk about fire hose nozzles. That's another crazy hot topic sometimes, right? So, as far as a nozzle goes, this one has seen better days. This is one of those, like, cheap, crappy ones. This lasted me a long time until it failed. So, I spent a lot of time looking online to try to find a fire hose nozzle that wasn't so expensive, but worked well and had some quality parts to it. I found this. You can look this up. I don't know how to pronounce the name that well. Bonair, Bonair, whatever. It's the HN10AL. This is probably one of the most quality fire hose nozzles I've ever used. It feels good. It's sturdy. It's got nice grips. It opens and closes really smoothly. The stream that comes out of this fire hose nozzle is perfect. Very controllable. It doesn't have like loose uh, stragglers that come across like some of the cheaper ones very well made again i put my quick disconnect on a lot of my stuff i highly recommend this and this was like 14 to 20 dollars do you realize like come on so this is what i got this is what i use and this is awesome and that's the container it's just a very good nozzle so you can get this online and like i said it's very cheap another nozzle i use because i'm gangster like that you can go to any hardware store and get this thing is all messed up. This will this is probably getting retired now that I have that. Something this is by Nelson. These work fine. 
they give you a good jet. Like, anybody that's, like, balling on a budget, get it. Just get it. Stop worrying about what the latest and greatest is. You, you, it doesn't make any sense. It's not going to... What the hose does is not going to affect how good your detailing is. Now, let's get into buckets. Obviously, I have two buckets. I've had this for a long time. It's a Wolfgang bucket. I got it on sale years ago. It's seen its better days. But this is my rinse bucket and... I have a wash bucket as well. But what's good about these buckets is I caught it on sale. You could go and use the uh, Homer buckets. I've got two of those down there for my wheels. I don't obviously, you know, you should have three buckets at least. Something for the wheels and something for wash, something for rinse. Now inside, I've got two different grit guards, okay? I've got the original grit guard, the original grit guard that goes on the bottom, which I really like, and then I got this grit guard now, which is on an angle. So I keep these both in there, and you can just rinse your towels out. It just sits in there, so you could basically go in, horrible lighting, right? You can go in and just rub whatever towel uh, wash mitt you have. And that's, that's all that. I mean, that's so simple, right? Beautiful. One last little hose nozzle I want to talk about is this. You might see these at different... Fuck you, dude. You might see these at different stores, like Home Depot and stuff. And this thing is awesome. I really like it. Now, what I use this for is... For this hose, specifically here in this bucket it's just easy to do it hooks up I got a really long one get it <laughs> but this works this is a good setup I like it it's when I want to just wash quickly uh, almost forgot about this I got this one at Home Depot it is a Goodyear hose like the tire now this I also got at Home Depot I have this mounted on the wall. It's an awesome, awesome setup because, you know, right out here, that's where the garage leads, right out. So it's easy to operate. Uh, like I said, I love quick disconnects. I bought this online. It's a super easy quick disconnect and it's got a little valve. Very cheap. You don't have to get the uh, super expensive ones. This works amazing. And this quick disconnect system, is flawless. I've never had any issues. It is a very stout setup. I love it. No complaints. Got it. Got it. Well, since we're quickly talking about my supplies, I'm going to try to make this quicker. I know I, I talk all day long. It's horrible. Um, these are the pressure washers. You've seen them before. My 3100 PSI gas-powered Simpson with the Honda engine, and I got my 2000 PSI electric. It's the Greenworks. Um, my handle of choice is this. This is an MTM M407. It handles up to 4000 PSI. Very high quality unit, and I use that for both of these. It's very apparent to me that I'm going to have to make this a multiple part series. Now, this is all out of a container over there. It's a tall one. This holds my polishing pads and my applicators and my wash mitts. So let's talk about these, okay? Um, over the time of detailing, I've found certain things to be really useful. I've found this. Right here goes on it's like a foamy type mitt I use this for applying like wheel uh, waxes wheels wheel creams um, protectants that go on the wheels to uh, help brake dust not adhere as much this has been a staple for my detailing bay and obviously you can't have applicators without like a microfiber I don't really use these that much but I always have them um, my favorite by far my favorite foam applicator is Meguiar's. You can buy these for really cheap. I've got 
um, we're gonna get into it. I've got a ton of these in containers that I've never even used. I bought them out, basically. <laughs> there was a sale on one of these uh, detailing websites that I used to frequent, and I bought a ton of these. And these are very, very good. They're good quality, they hold up. Um, I never had any problems with them. Now, these. These are super, super, super soft. These are amazing. I, OCD wise, I even love the way they look and feel. I'm sorry, I do. I have lots of these. This is a brand new one. They, they are super soft. I use these to apply um, final waxes, glazes, uh, sealants, anything of that nature, I could use these for and I, I love them. So, one of the other things I have, Again, a lot of these things, I don't know where the hell I bought them from. I'm just going to show you what they look like. If you come across it, get one. This is a little tiny thing where you put two perverted fingers inside of it. <laughs> and I don't know what the hell I bought this for, but I think it might have been to clean um, vents from dust. Something simple. I think it was for the interior I bought that for. Obviously, these pads have seen better days. I'm probably going to retire those soon. And uh, I got these for my polisher. These are just small, little small pads for, obviously I'm not going to go into the whole thing about pad color and a pad aggressiveness and, and all of that. That would take forever, but these are really soft. These are all have backing pad uh, plates on them. These were for, uh, I believe red. I was putting all kinds of final uh, coats, glazes and stuff on. These, <clears throat> I love these things. These things are amazing, okay, because what's cool about these is you've got a really soft side to apply, get out of here. What's really cool is you've got a soft side to apply like a wax or a glaze, then you've got the other side, the flip side, which is harder, much more dense. This is for um, like polishes and stuff, if you want to take out a scratch. I've gotten so much use out of those, it's amazing. So this is the next little shelf on that thing. So like you get this, it's a little like soft open foam. You never know when you're gonna need stuff like that. Um, a friend of mine bought turtle wax ice or something like that. I don't know why he bought it. I would never use it, but I took this from him just because I like having applicator pads. I've got obviously a small obsession with them. Here are more backing plates little foam things. Now this is one thing that I use. If you uh, don't have a machine and you want to polish, there's this little thing, again, two perverted fingers go in and you can use this um, to rub out, <laughs> rub one out. You can use that to uh, rub out a, a mark and you know, you got the backing plates, they go right on there. And now you got a small portable little handheld type polisher with your hand power. Again, here we go, more stuff. This has um, a foam abrasive on the side and a really soft uh, applicator side for like glazes, waxes again. Again, uh, more microfiber, microfiber type materials. A small little thing, I don't remember what I got. Now this is something I wanna talk about. These are from Adams. These are one of the applicators I love from that website. They're very soft, but they get a good grip, and the way that this was designed is very nice. My favorite one is this one. It's super spongy, and it's so soft. I use this for anything liquid, delicate, final step, um, putting on the paint, uh, paint sealant, waxes, liquid waxes. This is one of my favorite applicators. And again, more tire applicators. This is for um, wheel, wheel uh, gel, tire gel. You can put your fingers on the sides of this, there's like holes on the side, and you can get a grip in there, right? And you just go right over it. Everything works like that, see? Just like that. And um, I forget where I bought these from, but these are soft again. And it's just nice to have things like that in your arsenal where you can, um, it's, it's impossible to put this in any kind of order. That's the one thing I can't stand about this you you can't do it because they're they're soft and then you push one thing in and things start sponging out on the other side it's just uh it's crazy so i do my best <laughs> but this is the one 
uh, type of drawer where I just try to like leave everything where it lies and hope for the best. I'm hoping my nerves don't lose it. All right, on to the next one. If uh, anybody's interested in uh, in cleaning their cars, you really have to invest in some decent wash media, some cloths and mittens and mitts. Ones that I found really well are from Meguiar's. I've obviously got multiple ones. I really like those a lot, but there's also, I think this is Lake Country. I think this was called The Bone. I haven't really used this too much. I felt like it was a little too hard. I don't know, but I have that. These are my favorite type of mitts. I use these, like these little, uh, little fingers all over them. I use these specifically based on color for like the bottom halves of the car. I try to separate based on color when I'm detailing or, or washing. I use a separate towel that, to touch the bottom. I know obviously that's overkill in a lot of sense, but this, this towel specifically is for the bottom half of whatever car I clean. The green, the green one, that's another one I use for the bottom halves. Uh, blue towels, I use those for top halves if I need for, like if I get another issue with any of these. This shrunk, <laughs> but this is a third one that I had. Um, again, this could be like the top half. I haven't used any of these yet, so I haven't designated the color. This was a cheap one that I bought at AutoZone. I've never used it, but I, I just buy things to buy it. This is a very soft um, wash mitt doesn't really say who it's from I forget but this is this could be like the top part of the car again this could be for the top part this was from car pro this could be uh, for the top part it's super soft it holds a lot of foam when you're cleaning and um, you know just more I got I got a lot of mitts so I never have to worry about running out everything has its little place you try to uh, keep things in some kind of order here but these are all good wash mitts I recommend having a lot obviously I have more than I'll probably ever need but you know what the hell moving right along as I said I bought a lot of these okay these are the Meguiar's gold class applicator pads there's some I haven't even opened many I haven't even opened this one half opened <laughs> These are very good applicator pads. Um, in case you ever need cotton terry applicators, I just started stocking up on things. Um, I probably would use this for exhaust polishing because they're kind of thinner and they're terry cloth. So if I want to put like a exhaust polish or glaze or something on the tips to try to clean them, that would be good. Just more like microfiber type stuff. A lot of these I haven't even used. I just have it just in case. These are another favorite of mine. The Even Coat Microfiber Applicator Pads by Meguiar's. These are those like plushy um, microfiber. They're really nice. I like them a lot. I forget who makes this one. But this is a nice little one. Um, you can bend it and get into like hard spots. I like that. Now these are like old ones that are sort of retired that I've just used a lot. So I'll use this on like grungy stuff. If I need to clean something that I don't want to use a clean um, applicator pad on or I don't mind destroying it on something. And um, these are tire applicators. I forget exactly where I got these again, but these are nice. And they got the Meguiar's, uh, the Adams handle. These could be from Adams. I don't know, they might not be. I don't know. It's possible, anything's possible. So, those, and then more microfiber stuff. I forget exactly where I got these. These might have gotten thrown into an order. I had a large period of time where I just would have crazy sized orders. I don't, I don't think I would use these for anything, but there's, for whatever reason, there's six of them. I don't know. Now, these are pretty cool. This is a wash mitt that has a lot of like open, there's two of them. I bought these just because in the winter time, you know, we don't have the uh, privilege of having nice weather all year round. I bought those for when I do my garage washes. I do rinseless washes, which I'll probably do a video on that as well. 
I have a lot of products for that and these were good because they hold dirt. You you put a you put a lot of liquid in there and it, it pulls the dirt up and it gets it gets stuck inside these uh cells, which is good. It's what you want to happen. Alright, next drawer. Not much to talk about, just a ton of these. I like these a lot. I have various uses uses for these. They're pretty awesome. And more microfiber. This is like a, I think I used this for tire applicator at one point and then I found stuff that was better. But quick drawer, not much in there. Here we go. Now don't mind this stuff. You could wash these a million times, just sometimes they stain, but this is clean. This is a clean pad. I don't know why, but again, more pads. I believe these were all Adams, um, different degrees of uh, grit. If I want to polish something by hand, I can use this. I uh, forget, this was. This is very soft. These are soft. And again, oh, I think these were called UFOs or something. But they, they bend and you can, you know, do what you got to do with them. These are very stiff. Um, this would be for like a polishing situation. I think I bought these for my exhaust tips. Because I wouldn't use this on my paint probably. So, there's that. So to talk about the second to last and the last bucket here, we got to talk about this. That is my Porter cable. I know there are much better out there. The Bigfoot I'm planning on upgrading to. I just haven't polished. I haven't kept a car long enough in the past three years to actually polish the car. So I need to stop that. <laughs> I've been selling my cars after a year of owning them for probably the last three or four years. But um, as far as this goes, I've used this on many, 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 many cars and have gotten such good results. Different backing plates, small backing plates, three and a half inch, four inch backing plates. It, there's just so much to learn about polishing paint and pad choices and polish. It's just too much to even go into and I'm far from an expert to even give advice on that. I just kind of wing it and see what results I get. So I won't even get into that portion of it. I'm just going to show, you know, basically what I have. Now, I don't know why this is in there, but this was another wash mitt. Very strange. It looks like a clam. But this is pretty cool. I might try this one out. See how I like it. Um, I don't know. I don't remember what was in this bag. Hopefully it's not drug. This was, uh, I've got a mirror glaze sanding backing pad. So if you're going to be sanding anything, on the paint, wet sanding on the paint, I've got that, plus a uh, certain sandpaper. I hope I never need stuff like that, but I have it, just in case. Now, as far as pads and stuff go, I've got this. This is a very aggressive situation. I would never want to have to polish with this, but I have it. And again, we got more pads, more pads, more pads. I believe... These might be glass polishing pads. I never use those yet. Oh, this. I used this pad one time. Uh, my G35 had single stage paint on the side skirts. I didn't know anything about that until I started polishing the car and I was like, oh shit, the paint's coming off. Apparently it, it was supposed to and everything worked out fine, but this is just uh, probably kept here for a memory. So I remember, I remember. But we got these pads. These are really nice pads. Um, there's a lot of pads I still haven't even opened. Smart Pad Professional Foam is Auto Geeks. A lot of these are still there. These hook up to your porter cable if you want to clean your carpet. These are really cool if you want to do some like deep cleaning on the rugs. Again, more. I got orange pads, red pads, you name it, that's in there. And uh, this final bucket has more backing plates. It has, but these are just pads that I bought. Smart pads. I bought a lot of these. I found a sale one time. These were the uh, at Auto Geek. I believe they were Lake Country. Yeah, Lake Country. They uh, they come in different different colors. Again, this is, I think this was called a spur. This is the clean, this looks like a fucking weapon. Like a, it goes on the end of a cowboy boot, like you're gonna kill someone. Oh, like a rattlesnake. Here's another one of those 
Um, you hold it, you put one of those pads with the backing plate, and you can use this as a polish. Here's a smaller backing plate, and just lots of pads, various pads. All right, so this is uh, <laughs> some of my stuff. The only things I actually focus on. Well, let's just run through this real quick. I had this kit. This came in this kit here. This was a race glaze. It's a uh, detailer's brush kit. And then, well actually this didn't come in there. This was a Swiss Vax wheel. And it started to fall apart. See, I, I'd be honest with stuff. I'm just totally, totally, totally honest. Totally brutally, that's what totally is. So this started breaking here, so I started duct taping this, but I use this for lug nuts. As far as these brushes go, there is a completely second Swiss Vax that I never even used yet. And all of these, they all have their purpose, whether you're cleaning little things in the engine bay or whatever the case may be. It's always good to have a good set of brushes. Always good. Now, we have the Daytona Speed Master. This is great for the barrel of the wheel. I love this brush. I also have this brush, which I believe was some kind of, I don't even know, I can't even tell you. I bought these so long ago, some kind of raccoon something. It goes inside the wheel well as well. Um, this one I'm not super happy with because it's got some kind of metal protruding there. Stuff like that could scratch a wheel. I try to avoid anything that could scratch a wheel, but you know, I still have it. Haven't gotten rid of it yet, probably will soon. Now this is a mother's uh, brush. I use this for the fender wells. I get it inside and I just scoop around and after you spray some all-purpose cleaner, this is for the fender wheels. I love that brush. Now these brushes right here, these are from Wheel Woolies. I debated on not getting these for the longest time. It was like $49 or $50, whatever it was. But these are great. A little, come on now, get out of here with that. These are great. These can clean the barrel, the wheel, lug nuts, inside spokes, things like that. It comes in a set. It's good quality. I haven't been let down. Um, this is just a cheapo wash mitt. I got it AutoZone. It can go on your hand. So if you're cleaning your wheels or something, you know, you can put this on with the soap and get inside little cracks and crevices. Um, things like this. These are just generic things on any detailing website. These are to clean tires. I've tried those two out. They're not the best. I'm not too super excited about them. Then I found this. I forget exactly who made this, but this was the best tire. Um, cleaner I've ever found. I think I got it on Auto Geek. It's one of the one of the ones that they sell, but it, it's good. Um, again, this brush took a beating. It's been sitting in my bucket. I haven't used it much since I got the Wheel Woolies. This is a smaller one by uh, Easy Detail, I think. This was for wheel wells, or you know, if you needed to, you could bend it and get behind spokes and stuff. Still a good brush. Um, this. It's soft, so I use this to clean little crazy things coming off of it. I used to use this to clean the face of the wheels at times. It's just a good all around brush. And then you got this bad boy. This is, uh, I don't even know. I remember I, I bought this for some reason and I've used it like twice. Uh, I don't have much to say about this, but here it is. This brush. I have for carpets, I used to detail um, on the side. I still will eventually because it's fun, but this is for, it's like a hard bristle type brush. It's to scrub carpets clean if you're uh, putting some kind of foam on. And I just bought this, but I'm not too fond of it. It's got black in there, so it will get on your hands, but it's some kind of like mitt. I know they make another one I gotta find, but this is just to clean the uh, spokes and the face of the wheel. But that's, that's about it. The only other thing I recommend you look online and get, if you are going to be doing detailing, you're going to be getting into, um, if you're going to be getting into, uh, like heavy cleaning of your car and stuff, get something like this. I know you're thinking to yourself, what in the hell is that? This is an, a mat. It's like a kneel mat. So when you're cleaning your wheels, 
you're kneeling down a lot. I used to hurt my knee on like asphalt and stuff. You put this underneath your knee and it saves you. It's thick foam. I put this thing through hell and back. I've had this for three years so far. Never had a problem. They're pretty cheap online. I recommend wholeheartedly that you get something like that. Before we get into um, the meat and potatoes of this, you know, talking about the actual products I use, I just want to talk about this cart real quick. This thing is very sturdy. This thing is awesome. I bought this at Home Depot. Um, it's awesome. It's a super sturdy cart. I got my uh, got my extension cord. I've got room for two buckets down there, two bucket, uh, buckets up here. Buck, 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 stutter much. And um, it's got some room down in here where you can keep the top buckets up there and more supplies. Everything's readily available. If I'm detailing, if I'm working on the car, I need my tools up here. Anything I do, I can use this cart for. And I love it. But don't expect all four wheels to spin when you buy this cart if you buy this cart it comes with two straight wheels and two spinny wheels i contacted the uh company husky to have them send me two more spinny wheels which i feel like it should have came with from the beginning so now it does this instead of having a stupid situation but this is my cart and i love it